Hi everyone. Today we're going to use advanced HMI to communicate to the solo process temperature controller. And as you see on my screen, I have designed it so that we have the advanced HMI uh, running in Visual Studio. And I have a couple of digital panel meters, one for the uh, PV value, present value, and one for the set value, SV. And you'll notice that on my present value and set value, I'll have um, a decimal point. So if I go down here, I'll see my numeric display. I have one decimal place. I have four digits, resolution of one. And on my Modbus, we're going to be you talking Modbus RTU, column number one. And the PLC address is 44097. And in order to get that, if I call up the manual and go to Chapter 7, Modbus Communications, and then you'll see the registers right here. And I'll blow this up a little bit. So my PV value, present value, is actually Modbus Decimal 44097. And my set value, I'm going to be using it, is 44098. And you'll notice they're both read and write. So I can, uh, on my set value, I can read and write it. On my process value, I can only read it. And the other address that we're going to be using will be uh, right You can see there's lots of values to take from. And we're going to be looking at the um, LED status. So we have 8 bits here. And those 8 bits are read only. It will actually tell us the output of degrees Fahrenheit Celsius. Our 3 alarm outputs and our 2 out outputs. Themselves also if it's auto tuning or not. So that's how you find the bit addresses again um, in, the, in the solo PLC or solo process temperature controller. So I have this drawn up here and on my set value this is the one that we actually want to be able to change the actual input itself. So you see again my decimal place is, uh, is 1, number of digits is 4, and my PLC address key is 4498 and the value is 4498. That that will indicate that we really want to be able to change this value. So on below here we have our 8 bits that are status and they are just labels that we've assigned. So there's our two outputs, Fahrenheit, Celsius, uh, Auto-Tune, Alarm 1, Alarm 2, Alarm 3. And as this is running, what we want to do is display the status of these, these LED lights. To the left hand side, you'll see that I have a basic trend chart. And what I like to do is actually pull the controller and actually plot this onto this chart here. And you'll see I have written down here five minutes. Our polling time is 250 milliseconds. And my chart is actually 1200 points and we're actually pulling our set value. So this is our set value that we're going to be seeing. Our project itself actually has the Modbus RTU com and on it we have our settings, communication settings, 9600, 8 even. Our polling rate which we just talked about was 250 milliseconds. We have COM port number 5. Now what we're going to be using is a USB to 45 communication port and if we look up our device manager in our computer I can see that that port here is coming in at COM number 5. And that's all we have to set for that one. Our data describer, this is where we're getting our bits from here, is TLC address 44139. If we hit the, the data describer, what you'll notice is that what we do is we grab those eight bits 
And what we do is we convert it to a string of zeros and ones to represent which bits are on. Then what we do is we look at each individual status of the string. And if it's a zero, we change the background color. If it's a one, we change the background color to another color. So let's uh, turn on our uh, process controller here. And basically what we have is we have a uh, power connected. We have our um, thermocouple connected right here. And this is our USB to 45 converter. So we have a solid light on, meaning we have power. And a flashing light here will mean that it's actually communicating. Here's our solo. We have our PV value and our SV value and our indicating lights down here. So the first thing we need to do in solo is to ensure that we have the right communication settings. We hit hold the set uh, key and you see a J thermocouple. It's in degree C, high, low. Our alarm settings. Okay, and right here, this setting here tells us that we're going to be using um, online communication or activate that 45 port on the back. The next setting is we're using the protocol RTU on Modbus, unit number one, and baud rate 9600, e 8 bits, even parity, one stop bit. And we hit back set and we're back to run mode again. So we'll call up or start our software. And here's our software running. There's our PV value. I'll move this over a bit. Our set value, our PV value. And that matches exactly what our controller is saying. And what I'll do is just hold on to my thermocouple. And what we will get is an increase in our temperature. So you see it's actually climbing up. And then I can let it go. So you see here we're tracking on a, a second by second basis. There's 1200 points. Actually it's every 250 milliseconds. And here's our outputs that are displaying exactly what's happening. If I need to change the set value, and uh, my calculator comes up here, or our input value comes up, and let's change it to uh, 25.3. Uh, Hit enter. I'll actually change the set value here, as well as in the uh, temperature uh, controller. So you can see this is very straightforward and you see our output coming on and off now based on the fact that now our, our uh, present value is actually lower than our set value. And again, this will use the full PID. Okay, you see this is very straightforward. It's an easy implement and we can do a lot more with this in terms of then logging it to a database. Right, thanks for watching and for more information and complete programming of this unit, visit our website at www.accautomation.ca.